Just like any other day, commuters are on their way home from work, not knowing that today will be different. Out of nowhere, music starts playing and people start dancing. It's called a flash mob. It's happening around the world and tonight at 5 it will transform Sydney Central Station. But while it all looks spontaneous, some flash mobs are actually carefully constructed. Meet Patrick. He's just one of 80 flash mobbers getting ready for the big day. It will be his first flash mob and he's excited to be part of it. It'll be fun. I haven't done that much acting before, but yeah, it'll be fun to act like you're normal and then start dancing in the middle of nowhere. I've always wanted to do that. Uh, I'm a big fan of musicals. The rules of everyday life are kind of suspended or put aside um, so people can get away with things that they wouldn't normally get away with. But Patrick is not just signing up for fun, it's also to support a good cause. Yeah, I think the, the Wesley Institute does a really good work, mm -hmm. um, especially with kids. And yeah, they, they, um, they really need our support to be able to um, yeah. do their research. The idea of using a flash mob for charity came from Raphael Grosjean, who's organizing the event. She thinks flash mobs are the new way of getting a message across. Flash mobs are using more and more in, in a commercial way to, to communicate with an audience. And because it's surprising and new, it's going to attract the attention much more. It's part of a Westmead Medical Research Foundation campaign to get people active. It's called the Move Movement, and like all flash mobs, it uses social media. We create an event page on Facebook, uh, which then is able to be spread to all people uh, around. So as soon as you receive this event uh, invitation, you can then spread the word to your friends, which are going to spread the word to their friends. Yeah. But not all the flash mobbers heard about it on Facebook. Um. I was at a barbecue and um, Raphael was there, the, he's organising it and she, we were just chatting about you know, what we're doing at uni and she said she was doing this and I was like, oh, if there's an opportunity, can I be in it? So. Jessica, a mum and first time flash mobber, loved the idea so much that she recruited some of her friends. But before the big day, it's time to get together to practice the moves. At a dance center in Klee, Jessica and the others get a quick crash course in acting and then onto the routine. Choreographer Nikki had to come up with a routine that amateur dancers could learn quickly while still looking good. The secret is in the number of people doing the same movement at the same time. Um, so one person doing one arm up is not nearly as exciting as a hundred people doing one arm up. Um, so in that, the, the moves weren't technically really difficult, but you need to find something or movements that are really effective when you have a huge group of people doing them. Flash mobs aren't necessarily all singing and dancing, as sociologist Chris Cheshire explains. Flash mobs are used for political action. So in places like, I mean, even Iran or the Philippines um, is a notorious example of a case where if a group can organise to get a very large number of people um, into a place that the government of the day doesn't want them to be, um, then that potentially has a lot of political potency. Back in Sydney, the flash mobbers are starting to get a little nervous. With just half an hour to go, it's time to talk logistics. Corner, you need to stand on the blue cross, because that's what everyone's going to line up from. Yeah? Yay, that was my big voice. Everybody dance now. After some last minute rehearsals, <laughs> talking over the routine with friends, <laughs> and deciding where to put the props, <laughs> the moment of truth has arrived. It's almost five, and nobody suspects a thing with everyone in character. It's showtime, with just one chance to get it right.
one guy dancing in the middle of Central Station might look a little odd. But within seconds, more and more dancers jump into action. The commuters seem to be enjoying the disruption to their evening. And quickly get out their mobile phones and cameras to film what inevitably will end up on YouTube. Jessica never thought she would be dancing in the middle of Central Station. But here she is, right in the middle of a flash mob. Just out of nowhere we all just started dancing, it was so good, it was really fun and everyone was cheering us and filming, so yeah. So what did you think when people just started dancing in the middle of the, the foyer? Lots of fun, bright and happy and made my evening, probably made lots of people's evenings. I thought it was a crazy man with a speaker. <laughs> everyone is relieved the show went well and some flash mobbers are still caught in the moment. Um, I'm still looking for other people that I actually came with but yeah. I think they're still in character, so, yeah. After weeks of organizing, Rafael is happy the day was a success. I cannot find my words. Just perfect. It, look, the energy in there. At the end of a jam-packed day, the flash mobbers get together one more time to celebrate. Meanwhile, at Central Station, life's back to normal. But you never know when another flash mob might strike again.